Five years ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, a giant cooking arena, a kitchen stadium. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a to realize his dream, he first secretly started selecting the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Masaharu Morimoto. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. The Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from around the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where you will meet the master chefs from around the world and their artistic creations. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, we are nearing the fifth anniversary of the Kitchen Stadium. To my surprise, the number of dishes I have tried has reached 1,999. We shall reach the 2,000 mark in today's battle, which ought to be a very special one indeed. My first thought was the plates must be special as well. I didn't want to just merely use a famous brand. I wanted to make the plates myself, to carry my own dreams. And I made them huge. I wish to taste grand dishes that do justice to these grand plates. And to realize my grand dream, I first formed a dream team headed by Sakai. Working with Captain Sakai are two men of high caliber. First, honorary Iron Chef French Yutaka Ishinabe, and the second, a conjurer of French sauces, a man who defeated Sakai, Etsuo Jo. Without doubt, these are the heavyweights in French cuisine in Japan, the all French team. And to counter them, I formed another team headed by Iron Chef Chen. Working with Captain Chen are two men, first known for his creative neo-Chinese dishes, Yuji Wakia. And a great rival of Chen's, a top chef in Shanghai cuisine, Sozo Miyamoto. The revolutionaries in Chinese cuisine, the all-Chinese team. To add to this dream match, I'm taking liberty of choosing my favorite ingredients. The ingredients have been explained to both teams to ensure perfection in the dishes. And they are now working on their strategies. It's a 2000s dish special, and it's supposed to be fun. So by adding traditional dishes, I want to emphasize the Chinese touch. That's what I want to emphasize, you know? Yeah. You never know what'll happen during that time frame, and that's when our skills really show. Chefs of Sichuan, Shanghai, and Neo Chinese will work together on this great project. They met many times before the battle. On the other hand, the heavyweights of the all French team cannot afford to lose their status and pride. We'll be putting all our expertise together to make just one dish. So tasters will have to brace themselves. These six chosen chefs on the dream teams will undoubtedly create dishes unparalleled that will go down in culinary history.
We are on the verge of our fifth anniversary, and today we will celebrate a very special occasion, the tasting of our 2,000th dish. First, let's meet our guests for this special battle. The very first dish here was tasted by TV show hostess Mitsuko Ishii. Glad you're here today. My pleasure to be here. Been quite a while. Yes, it really has. Ishii-san, do you remember that first dish? Yes, yes, very vividly. It was a salmon dish, salmon. Mm -hmm. And I forget who, me or another guest, but someone said, could I have a bowl of rice? And we were just laughing. Really? At <laughs> Our comments weren't sophisticated enough, but especially mine. Now you'll have the sharp commentary. <laughs> oh, no, let me apologize in advance. <laughs> and next, the man who's tasted the second most number of dishes among the panel, Lower House member Shinichiro Kurimoto. Glad to have Hello. you. Hello. Pleasure to be here. Kurimoto-san, take a stab. How many dishes you think you've tasted so far? Uh, I'm just surprised I'm second in line. There's so many. What are we talking, between 10 and 20 percent of, say, 2,000? What, around 200, about 200 dishes or so? What do you... Try 620. What? <laughs> yep. That many? Hard-working legislator. That's unbelievable. Well, that's why you're here today. <laughs> well, nice to be back. And our commentator who does his tasting on the slide, Dr. Yukio Hattori. Doc? Always a pleasure. Now, I usually join Doc for that out-of-camera view tasting, but today, for the first time, I'll be on the tasting panel. Oh, and, and that means, for the first time, I didn't eat the usual box lunch the crew gets. <laughs> Not today. All right, let's go to the opening ceremony. <laughs> And now, the man who's made Kitchen Stadium a reality, Chairman Kaga. Stadium. それでは今日は記念すべき2皿目、そして2皿と1皿目を作ってくれる料理人たちを登場させましょう。まずは日本のフレンチ会に君臨するオールフレンチ。And there they are in their blue and white outfits, the all French team. First one in, Yutaka Ishinabe, the first Iron Chef French, a legendary figure. Next comes Etsuo Joe, a French sauce specialist, bringing his own bottle. And the team captain, Iron Chef French, Hiroyuki Sakai, a dream team for French cuisine. How can we possibly imagine what these three will come up with today? Yes, the all-Chinese team in yellow and white outfits. First one into the stadium is Yuji Wakia, a Chinese cuisine revolutionary, still with youth on his side. Next, Sozo Miyamoto, the Shanghai cuisine leader in Japan, teaming up with Chen for this effort. And team captain, Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi, the Szechuan Sage, a dream team on the other side too. Never has this much culinary expertise been assembled at one time in Kitchen Stadium. 今回の記念すべき料理を載せる皿私が自ら焼いてまいりましたどうぞご覧くださいこちらです多賀流たたら作り瀬戸駅このお皿にオールフレンチ2000皿目 オールチャイニーズ2000と1皿目を乗せてもらいます。それでは今日のテーマは 
私の好物を選ばせてもらいました3つありますそれでは発表します私の大好物はこれですの大好物は豚肉スポーンバナナ。If memory serves me right, these are the five dishes that have impressed me the most. First, a flavor from the top French restaurant in Japan. The battle was truly a memorable one. The 200th challenger, French chef Maurice s k i l l o w a y prepared this for me. Scallop salad with vinaigrette sauce. An artistic harmony between endive and scallops. He proved his heights as a chef fully endorsed by Joël r o b u c h o n And next is this man slicing the sea eel. Who could it be? None other than Hiroyuki Sakai, and among all his great seafood dishes, this was certainly the best. A fusion of Japanese and French cuisine, Sea Eel Royale, accentuated by his aromatic truffle sauce. But I've also encountered awful food as well. The man who made Joel r o b u c h o n smile wryly, commentator Yukio Hattori. Hattori's suggestion gave Robuchon a mistaken impression of Japanese sake. And. What led to that result was Kome Nakamura's dish. The smell of foie gras killed the aroma of the potatoes. No one was able to finish it. But the worst dish must have been this one. The tasters did not hold back. I don't think anyone would want to eat this, basically. Morimoto's imagination went a little too wild and led to disaster. So oversmoked was it that it was unbearably bitter. For the 3000th dish, I'd like to be appointed to do that. And I hope one of my dishes will make the top five by then. Let us get back to the remaining three dishes I liked best. The dish that turned the life of a chef around who was at the height. Of his adversity. This legendary chef chose to wrap foie gras and scallops in cabbage, a truly unique Italian dish. The tasters were left in awe. The thick flavor of the foie gras perfectly matched the sweetness of cabbage. Combined with risotto, it was wonderful. And who can forget the dish prepared by the greatest Iron Chef ever, Roksaburo Michiba, once considered an outlaw in the Japanese cooking arena, showed his heights in this dish using foie gras in his debut match. He used foie gras like anglerfish liver and coined the now famous saying, There are no borders to ingredients. Michiba proved himself in this battle. He finished the dish with citrus juice and vinegar. The foie gras, flatfish, and matsutake mushrooms played a wonderful concerto in this masterpiece of masterpieces. I cannot forget how moved I was when I tasted it. And the top dish among the 1999 was created in the Sichuan Duel, a battle between Chen Kenichi, son of Chen Kenmin, the god of Sichuan cooking, and Takashi Saito. The top apprentice. It was one of the best battles in Iron Chef history. Ah, I can still smell the aroma of that battle as if it were yesterday. Chen Kenichi recreated his father's flavors by using ketchup to add mildness to his hot chili prongs. I was nearly led to tears when I tasted this. I did my very best that time. And Saito san, my senior, was my opponent. I felt my father standing behind me during the battle. That was a Sichuan pinnacle battle. I did my best. And now, the battle to celebrate our 2000th dish. All right, 
Dishes number 2000 and 2001 in Kitchen Stadium's history coming today from the teams assembled for this dream match of heavyweights. The All French, led by Iron Chef Sakai, against the All Chinese, captained by Iron Chef Chen, using Chairman Kaga's favorite items. Let's get it on! On it, Kizen! Fang Gong, the mother of all battles, is on, and the teams are pumped up. Break their huddles and now begin to execute their game plans. Theme ingredients, no surprise, they were informed beforehand, and neither team showing much urgency out of the gate. We'll tell you about that in a bit. And now taking back those massive plates for the French team, Joe, the one doing the heavy lifting, and for the all Chinese team, Miyamoto, with the honor of trucking the plate back down to their side. And now, Ishinabe. Oh, he's going to be bitten by the, that. The gloved one, the right hand gloved, as he's going for the soft shelled turtles. And Joe is heading back down again, this time with bananas and pork. And Sakai just stayed at home. And Doc, yeah, these three in theme ingredients, hard to connect the dots here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're right. They just happen to be Kagasan's favorites is all. OK. <laughs> and now a couple of things about today's special occasion. They will write the names of their dishes before cooking them. Oh, mm. so like a menu. And the battle is scheduled to go for 90 minutes instead of the usual 60, 30 more minutes of cooking time so they can put much more effort into the finished product and both sides taking care of that first order of business. Okay, now Chen San's one doing it here, right? He's writing Shin Man. That means new. Man Kanzen Seki. Oh, okay, a royal full course dinner then. Okay. And as the characters suggest, it's a combination of Manchurian Chinese and Han Chinese cuisine. Full course on a huge plate. Bananas, though. How are they going to use okay, bananas? Okay, Sakai with the all French. Uh -huh, I see trois, three. Okay, a gift from three mm. that I read so far. Mm. Uh, the three musketeers, perhaps? All right, a gift. <laughs> from them, we'll accept it. Could happen, who knows. All right, the Iron Chef French. Fukushan. Okay, go to. Beginning with the all Chinese team, they are starting out by needing salt and egg whites. And that is a ton of salt there. What do you suppose? Oh boy, maybe that. a salt crust and grill. And Go. Yes, go ahead, Ota. Yeah, thank you. The all French team, on the other hand, is peeling potatoes. Hey, look at that huh. over there, yes. <laughs> they, they've got it all going at once there. Sort of like your all-star baseball players doing the work of Bat Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Good call, yeah. Fukuzan. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the all-Chinese chefs are also teaming up on prep work. Okay, and you know, Kurimoto-san, usually the younger guys in the kitchen do this job. Oh, yeah, but they, just, just watching him, that's enough. This is <laughs> funny. Okay. Fukuzan. Yes. Yeah, the all Chinese Captain Chen explaining their theme title, the new style Royal Chinese, says it refers to knowing the old and searching for the new Sichuan's traditional recipes, Shanghai modern dishes, and Neo Chinese cuisine all harmonized on one plate. Boy, does he sound philosophical. <laughs> or like a copywriter. Okay. <laughs> Chen, the skipper of the all Chinese team with Yuji Waki and Sozo Miyamoto. Okay, I'm noticing some action over on the challenger uh, side here. Which one's the sure. challenger? Uh, <laughs> what do we have? Go. To... The theme written down on the all French team side says, I'm told uh, a gift from the Three Musketeers, and when I asked Ishinabe-san to elaborate on that, he said, our intention is to create a 21st century version of classic French recipes originally created in the days of Louis XIV of the Bourbon Dynasty. Sounds like they're shooting for the moon there with those words from Ishinabe, and now the all-Chinese oh, team side. Hot water. Yeah, spoon in Japanese. Mm. soft shell turtles being boiled, and now, over on the French side, can see that they're doing the same thing. Turtles Fukuzan. on oil, go! In this pot on the all-French side, they have soft-shell turtle meat, which we saw being cut up and prepared a moment ago, in hot water, of course, along with sherry and salt. Okay, this would mm. be a soup then. Okay, okay, and both sides off to a good start with the turtles. And now, we'll shift back to the Chinese side. Pork loin right there in the wok, and Waki uh, the, doing the frying here for Chen and company. Ooh. Nice sizzle, yes. Yeah, I asked uh, Chinese team captain Chen how they're doing in terms of teamwork. And he said, hey, we always hang around together. So as far as teamwork is concerned, I think we have the edge. And you see right there wow. in rhythm, mm. Mm. Miyamoto heads the kitchen of Dynasty at the Tokyo Bay Hilton. And Chen is the one there with the the green armband signifying the captain. More numbers for you. Chen has created 304 dishes here in Kitchen Stadium. Wow. Fukuzan? Mm -hmm. Yes. On the all French side, Etsuo Joe is just beginning to simmer something in a saucepan. It's a red wine that I believe is pronounced, let's see if I can get it right here, Lanche Barge. That's a uh, Bordeaux wine. Mm. And mm. Etsuo Joe considered the top man in Japan when it comes to making French sauces. And naturally, he's been in, put in charge of all the sauces Ooh, on that side today. So now, he's using the best kinds of wines for the sauces here. I and noticed. Iron Chef Sakai in the back, hunkered down there. They're really getting quite fancy here, What's aren't What's he they? working on? 
I think he's going to be weaving this together somehow. Okay, is that cucumber or zucchini? I'm not sure if he's going to be able hmm. to make it in time or not. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuzan. Yes. As you can hear over on the all Chinese side, Chen San is now vigorously chopping and mincing some ingredients together. He's combined the meat of soft shell turtles and pork. Oh, mixed <laughs> them. Mm. Pork and turtle. I've never had them together. Yeah. Well, texture wise, it should be all right mm -hmm. with the gelatin parts. And turtle things. and pork portal? <laughs> or, or, or how about Turk? Uh, I don't think so. That's not going to huh? work. Didn't fly, huh? All right. <laughs> Kuzan? Yes. On the all French side, Sakai and Ishinabe are handling the main cooking, and Joe is handling the preparation of the sauces, of course. Sakai commenting on that said, to make great cuisine, it's absolutely necessary to have a clear job description of who will be in charge of what. All right, and the same thing is going on on the other side with the all Chinese team. Their roles clearly defined, and here, Miyamoto. Okay, this is the fatty part of the loin, and they've got huh? some bananas. Unbelievable and there. Top, yeah. uh, and another loin on top. Wow, look at that. Kusan. Maybe in the oven. Go, Ota. Yeah, speaking of the all Chinese team's pork loin in this tray, hmm. uh, they covered the pork with miso sauce, red chili, pajao, cinnamon, star anise, and bananas, and then they've sandwiched that by smothering it with another block hmm. of pork loin that, on top. That is soaking Ooh. through. Ooh, okay, miso paste. Now, did I see some tau chi or something mm. in there? The black kernels? Japanese and peppercorns? I don't know. Go ahead. Oh. Yeah, I asked the three musketeers how they feel about working side by side in the kitchen together, and Joe said he couldn't be happier. Sakai said, I'm having the time of my life. Ishinabe said, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't really do much cooking these days, so I'm just trying to keep out of everybody's way. <laughs> Some insight there. <laughs> All right, I don't want to interrupt here, but if you notice, Joe, he's making something called quenelle, I believe. Uh, um, what is that? Um, it's oh, like a dumpling, there. actually. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I recall seeing Kuzan. past chefs doing something like this. Go. Let me quickly give you the ingredients in those. They are served with scallops, Chicken meat, egg whites, fresh cream, and truffles. Hmm. Mm, okay, now that is the so quenelle. Good. Now, oh. Wakia still at the cutting board, and um, oh, he's using the banana peels. You mean the leaves? <laughs> the <laughs> leaves. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> not the peels. Fifteen I minutes just gone. Wrap the whole thing up in the leaves. Like that, right there. Yeah, I see. Uh -huh. This is often done in Southeast Asian countries, you know, wrapping food in, in leaves for steaming. Yeah, you're mm. right, very common. Yeah. Yeah. Take it. I was able to talk with the members of the All Chinese team a little bit about how after this battle was decided upon and they knew that they were the chosen chefs, they held a short training camp at Lake Yamanaka near Mount Fuji, but nobody seems to know how much time they actually spent cooking. <laughs> a training camp? Lake Yamanaka must have been a golf camp. <laughs> it was quite serious. <laughs> and once again, we'll note that the um, identity of the theme ingredients were disclosed before forehanded the chefs, they had a chance to game plan in advance. Ah, I see. Okay. So they did get together and go over things. <laughs> okay, I think we mentioned this before, a salt crust grill, right? Uh, he's All got right, peppercorns This will go in the in that, oven right? with, when the prep mm, work's like done. a lot of fun. I want to go down there and help. Today, <laughs> celebrating the 2,000th dish to be tasted by Chairman Kaga. And once again, we'll note that the identity of the theme ingredients were disclosed beforehand to the chefs. They had a chance to Game plan in advance. I see. They okay. did get together and go over things. Okay, it's like we mentioned before, the salt crust grill. Mm. Well, he's got uh, peppercorns. And, and this will go into the oven when the prep it's work's like so done. It's much fun. I want to go down and help. Today, celebrating the 2,000th dish to be tasted by Chairman Kaga. He is the one who's tasted them all. Fukuzan. Mm. Yes. Yeah, here in the ice cream machine on the all French side, they've got honey, brandy, bananas, grenadine juice, milk, sugar, and eggs all blended together. All right. Well, that's simple enough. A uh, banana ice cream. Yes, we have banana ice cream. Okay, <laughs> now the all Chinese side salt <laughs> crust <laughs> grill. Take it out. Surrounding the pork and the banana leaves that just went into the oven is the shell made from salt and egg whites, peppercorns, and other various spices. The crust on top, or the lid, so to speak, is a little different. Salt, egg whites, and oolong tea leaves in that mm. mix. So several flavors involved. So three components in the that's salt right, crust. That's right. Three types. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, now check out the all French team here if we can. Okay. Hey. Oh, it's wow. Look at that. Mm. It's so the pretty. The cucumber Look at weave that. in the books. Oh, he started just a little while ago. And Amazing. Sakai getting the job done rather quickly. Yeah, he's been working on this. Mm. Oh, but hey, he didn't have any help with, with that. No assistance there. He pulled this off himself. You're saying he's going so fast, but this is all he's been doing. Hey, I'm trying to give the man some credit. <laughs> they look like it's not something for amateurs. No. They look like baskets. Well, they tear very easily midway through. And then know? where would you mm. be? <laughs> <laughs> all right, now let's get back to the Chinese side. This is Wakia. Oh. Okay, yeah. Slices into this mm, yeah. one. Well, this, this, this is called is a hair tail, tail fish. Okay. Okay, so in Japanese language, swordfish. That's so pretty. Hair tail fish. Very fresh. Mm. Okay, now to answer your question earlier, I think they're going to try to make this represent a dragon. That's common in uh, Chinese cuisine. Huh. Okay, in the traditional lot, yeah. cooking. Yeah. I see. And Chen there excitedly giving some instructions to his partners like a mm. like a quarterback barking signals or something. <laughs> and I'll get on the old French side. Look at that. They're, I mean, they're so intricate mm. today. Wow. 
stretched out there. And look at the size of that. Ishinabe mm. pounding his pork. Check that out. Maybe that's wow. to wrap something up. Unbelievable. Yes. So. I spoke with the pro weaving the zucchini Iron Chef Sakai and asked him why he's being so elaborate today. And he said, I know it's a lot of work, but the 2,000th dish deserves a lot of work to celebrate it. All right, a lot mm. of work into zucchini, not mm. cucumber. Oh, he's putting something wow. into Putting his heart and soul into that. And Yes. Huh? Yeah, the combination going on top of the woven zucchini is foie gras mousse and a piece of fried foie gras. Oh, huh. Foie gras. So that's right. right. Huh. A, a double foie dose of that. over foie gras mousse. <laughs> mm, it sounds too good. All right, wrapped with zucchini. Now, he's calculating that the inside won't be cooked well enough in time, I think, here. So hmm. he's probably going to steam the whole thing is what I'm Makes betting. sense. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, go check this out. Ah, Just like a dragon. Yeah. You see that? Dragon on wow. fire. Dancing dragon. And because of the cuts in the fish, it's expanding now. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Mm. And just what Kukuzan. they wanted, the all Chinese side. Go! This hairtail fish is pretty impressive sight. It's flavored with salt and Chinese rice wine. And there it is on the slow mo mm. replay. Yeah, Look at that. A Look at the tail yeah. separation. Boy, that's amazing. Just from the yeah. fins, it's got the look. <laughs> yeah, Chinese exactly. dragon in kitchen stadium. Oh, wow. Now, let's get back over to the French side. Oh, what's it? Truffles, maybe? Uh, yeah. So I'm not yeah. sure. What do you think? Hmm. Truffles. Gray color the there, perhaps. Cuisine? Yes. Yeah, let me update you on the pace that ishinabe san is playing to the meat. Stir-fried pork, onions, and foie gras, which were blended in the food processor and then added to a puree made from eggs, salt and pepper, champignon mushrooms, shallots, fresh cream, and butter. Truffles have also been added to that mix that you're seeing. Wow. wow. So luxurious. Oh, elaborate. That sounds about so good. as thin as a pizza. Yeah, they're probably, it's so probably good for cooking that way. Mm, cooking pork can be tricky, though. Okay. A third of the battle gone. You know, you can overcook it very easily. Right. But... Today again, 90 minutes, 60 to go, celebrating the 2,000th dish on Iron Chef. All of them tasted oh, by the chairman. So oh, yeah. And Kurimoto-san, so the record shows you've tasted 620 so far. Really? Kishi-san's tasted 1,417. <laughs> That's over 70%. <laughs> She's the guru of the tasting panel. A piece of history. <laughs> all right, back to the battle. The all-Chinese team side here. Now, these dumplings have turtle meat inside, I'm they guessing. They do. All right. And now on the outside, he has banana pieces huh? there. Banana pieces. Yes. Yeah, let me remind you of the ingredients for these dumplings. You'll recall that he stuffed them with turtle meat and pork, then he fried them, and then coated them with granulated sugar, and now he's added a layer of sweet bean paste and also a layer of chopped bananas. Wow. Okay, so this is traditional in Shanghai cuisine. Mm, hmm. And I love this one. This mm. is called Shenzhou Su Ping. Oh, yeah, I think I remember and that. And it's a Shanghai dish? Okay, the creator then has to be Sozo Miyamoto. He'll be covering this with a pie dough and then put it all in the oven. It mm -hmm. makes a really nice dessert. All like right, a sweet and he sum. here, oh, look, the dragon's, dragon's finished. Uh -huh. We're seeing the second one. Looks like a real dragon mm. from here. So <laughs> impressive, look at that. Okay, look at that, wow. Oh. And here? What is that? The fatty is part that? of the loin. No, maybe, uh, no, it's a fat netting, okay. sorry. Yeah. Yes, a fat netting there. So they'll wrap it up and that'll make the pork a bit more moist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it'll make it juicy. Exactly, That's how that right. Works. Uh huh. Mm. I wow. can't wait. I'm a lot eat of those now. 2,000 <laughs> dishes had a fat netting. Oh, just watching. <laughs> the, this theme, is the three themes today pork, soft shell, turtle, and bananas. No logic at all that I can think of for that trio. The chairman said just his favorites. And now back to the all Chinese side. Miyamoto working here, some kind of dim sum deal. Now, is this it? is the Shenzhou Su Ping, I think. Okay, and it's a stuffed one, I believe, here. Uh, Bananas and sweet beans. Mm. Okay, right here, right now. Right, exactly, there you go. Mm. Miyamoto mm. on the all-Chinese side, yes. I asked Chen Zan what he thinks the all-French team will come up with today, and he said, oh, there's no way of telling, but I know for sure that they will be tough to beat, especially with the magical sauces Joe creates. All right, well, he's in the know about Joe and his sauces. No secret to the Iron Chef Chinese, Chen Kenichi. And for cuisine? Yes. Yeah, the uh, rolled pork that he's now frying, the oil being used for that is actually melted butter. Mm, it looks so good. I can't take my eyes off them. <laughs> Don't blame you. The aroma is... Uh, yeah, you know, mm, for cuisine, wow. it smells Seriously, great all the way up here. I can't wait any longer. For cuisine? Mm. You get to eat all this, too. <laughs> yes. I asked ishinabe san about the rolled pork that he's frying at the moment, and he said this is a recipe created during the Bourbon Dynasty, the days of Louis XIV, and I think it's perfect for Chairman Kaga, but this dish would be impossible to make in a regular 60-minute battle. Wow. Well, okay, mm. we're going 
90 today, 30 minutes longer than the norm, so I'm glad I am tasting today. <laughs> yeah. It's a good day to taste. You know, these men are such pros. They don't think for a minute about taking shortcuts just to create some pseudo dish, uh -uh, you know? No compromise in <laughs> these guys, mm. yes. These little rolled items that the Iron Chef uh, is now working on contain potatoes, roast bananas, corn truffles, and ham. Hmm, what can we call this? Well, oh. this would just be a simple croquette. <laughs> simple, right. simple as in boring? <laughs> <laughs> a croquette, you know, and nothing else. 45 minutes gone, 45 to go, the halfway point of this special battle. Now into the second half, celebrating the 2000th dish of the tasting hosted by the Gourmet Academy's Chairman Kaga. And here looking at a huge cake, the celebratory dessert made by a chef who fought the Iron Chef Italian, Iron Chef Kobe, about a year ago, Yasumasa Takagi from Les Savour in Hibia, a present from him to the chairman. Excuse yes. Mm. Honorary Iron Chef Ishinabe commenting on how he feels to be back in Kitchen Stadium after a three and a half year absence. He says it's nice to be back, although it's been a while since I've done all the grunt work myself, but he seems to be enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we can tell that. And Ishinabe, Sakai, and Joe, all French heavyweights rolling those little croquets. <laughs> <laughs> they look like they're having so much fun. This is incredible. All for one Excuse and on. one for all. Yes. Iron Chef Chen of the all Chinese team said he's making a special dumpling, a kind of special turtle egg that he's going to serve to just one of the tasters, so whoever finds it in their portion is the lucky winner. Only mm. one, huh? Okay, right there it is. Yes, there's only one egg-shaped dumpling, and it's going to be eaten and by some there lucky there it goes, winner. Oh, the golden one. Okay, who gets it? That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the lucky one today? Iron Chef Chen of the All Chinese Team said that he's making a special dumpling, a kind of special turtle egg, that he's going to serve to just one of the tasters. So whoever finds it in their portion is the lucky winner. Hmm, oh, only that's one. Great. Only one gets yes, it. Yes, huh? there's only one egg-shaped dumpling, and it's going to be eaten by some lucky taster. Mm. <laughs> All right, and there it is, the oh. golden one. There it goes. Okay, who gets it? That's the question. <laughs> hmm. Who's the lucky one today? All right. Hmm, I just wonder when we'll get to find out who gets it. Mm. I think he's probably going to put it into one of the soup bowls. And cover them? That's my guess. Anyway, sort, of, yeah. sort of like dot racing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, oh, the old French team here. They were using spare ribs. Hmm. Fukuzan. Yes. Yeah, the strip of rib meat that Ishinabe is working on right now has already been seasoned with the following garam masala, ginger powder, onion powder, chili powder, cardamom, and salt and pepper. Hmm. Okay, and I think he's trying to make a circle out of it. You see that? Uh, yes. Okay. Making a I crown, see. I bet. Crown of a king. Okay. <laughs> okay, so he's going to place this in the center of the display on the plate when offering it to Chairman Kaga. Huh. So the Chinese have their dragon, and the French team has a crown. Yes, yeah, that's yeah, right. no, that, yes. That's that. Well, okay. they are calling themselves the Three Musketeers, right? Mm -hmm. So to offer something to the king is the idea. Hanging with that concept all the way through. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. fighting against the Chinese Musketeers. Okay, now I guess. back to the all Chinese chefs soup? here. Tofu. Hot and spicy tofu. Or not a soup, I wonder. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Uh, this is made with minced pork and Kuzan? turtle meat. I what think. do you have? Yeah, let me quickly go through the ingredients once again for this dish. Soft-shelled turtle meat and pork minced together in a shanton broth, along with minced Chinese cabbage, ginger, shiitake mushrooms, arrowhead bulbs, dried scallops, Chinese ham, and bananas. Back to you. Okay, a soup after all, then. And meaty, mm. I'd say, yeah, for you're a soup. you're definitely right about that. Yeah. That's for sure. From the all-Chinese side, Captain Chen, Miyamoto, and Wakia in action. Okay, no. Okay, oh, did you see that? He put one in the, into the bowl. He did right there? Yeah. Okay. That's the all Chinese The golden egg there. is in. So one egg is in. Now, uh, which one was it, though? Where? I saw it, but I lost the track. The one he's grabbing yeah. now, right there, I you, guess. You got that right. Or Someone's going to get lucky. That one? Can't tell who. Okay, Chen. <laughs> what, what is this, Las Some Vegas? Slide a hand. Chen doing the soup shuffle. <laughs> this isn't a gambling program. Even the director's in on it, I think. <laughs> so who's going to get this? Hey, Hattori's on. Oh. The crown's ready, oh, Doc. Oh, yeah, the crown. Look at that. Right there. Wow. It is done. Mm, what, what an idea. idea. Brilliant, yeah. This is beautiful. All right, at this mm. time, Ocha's in the royal box to interview Iron Chefs Morimoto and Kobe. Take okay, it. thank you. I'll start with Morimoto-san. Yes. Watching the battle so far, any comments on how these teams are doing? Well, these guys individually are the sluggers of their own teams, so I'm interested in seeing who's going to do the small yet important setup jobs, uh -huh. like bunting in baseball. Uh-huh. Both teams seem to be doing well, and I'm interested to see how their efforts will be combined in the final dishes. Okay, great. Thank I'm you. I'm learning a lot. 
Yeah. And uh, now, Kobe-san, yes. what's your analysis of these two teams so far? I specialize in Western food, so I'm more attentively looking at the French team. I see. I'm really looking forward to see the end results. Okay, thank you. And with that, I'll send it back to you, Fukui-san. All right, thanks, Ota. The other two Iron Chefs looking on. Morimoto saying the two teams are doing great, divvying up the workload and doing their jobs. Well, hey, check out the old Chinese team. Yeah. The, the bull with the winning egg is hidden in the soup, so mm -hmm. kind of a thrill for the tasters. A happiness Definitely. and longevity soup with a golden egg jackpot for one of the tasters covered with the red colored paper. The characters mean happiness, prosperity, and longevity. Back to the French team, the all French team. Yeah, they wrapped that in the fat netting, or in French they'd say the mm -hmm. It's looking so good. Doesn't it ever? Wow. Sitting here mm. is torture. And they're getting it ready mm, for some sauce. Watering. Yeah, and they made the pork so flat. Mm, and with such great attention. Yeah. You know? mm. Oh, he's putting the ball into the mouth. What, what now? <laughs> oh, into the mouth, I see. Okay. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. Yep, a golden Fukuzan. ball. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> About that golden ball that our guests were just noticing, they made that by wrapping gold foil around one of their dumplings. All right, thanks mm. for the update. And since today the men will have an additional 30 minutes, a total of 90 for the battle, they can do a lot more with the decorative aspects for their one massive dish, the big dish they'll deliver. Here now. Mm, and they're going to steam it? Now, what are you looking at? Mm. Oh, this one here. Oh, steaming, okay. Okay, mm. here on the all French side, the wrapped items have gone into the steamer. Yeah, or to be vapored, as they would like to say in French. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Now, ah. check out the old Chinese team. Miyamoto here. here. Yeah, what is he doing? What's that, a fire extinguisher? Yeah. A torch, <laughs> Doc. Oh, <laughs> fire extinguisher for what? He wants fire. <laughs> a burner on a banana. A banana burner. That's yours, huh? <laughs> banana burner. <-ner>. Okay. <laughs> here to get a charred surface. Fukuzan. <laughs> yes. These banana slices on the all Chinese team side have been sprinkled with brown sugar. All right, the stones and... Uh... <laughs> now, look at Sakai here. He's stuffing zucchini flowers with soft-shelled turtle meat, right? Yeah, oh, right. Okay. Really? I wonder how it tastes, that oh, one. Oh, take a look at that. Mm. Fukuzan. Yes, what do you have? Yeah, the meat being stuffed into the zucchini is soft shell turtle meat, which has been marinated and seasoned with soy sauce and ginger, and now it's being wrapped, as you can see, in the zucchini flowers. Oh. Okay, he's gone soy. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. Sounds and so one good. purpose is to remove any unwanted smell. All right, good job. This isn't raw, is it? No, no, they've been boiled once before. Uh huh. Oh, well, duck meat matches well with flower zucchini, so this ought to be good too. 30 minutes to go. All right, 30 minutes to go. Two thirds gone now. Oh, take a look at this. What, what is that? A turtle? What? On the what? old Chinese when side? When did they do that? Fukuzan! <laughs> yes. These are jumbo mushrooms. Okay, mm. uh, this is on the all French team side. Now here. Oh, wow. And Fukuzan? <laughs> yes, take it. These decorative turtles that you're seeing are made from carved pumpkins. Incredible. Uh, when did they make that? And evidently Miyamoto san was the sculptor. Miyamoto, huh. what a job. Oh, wow. We must have been doing this in the back. I didn't mm, see this at all. Yeah. <laughs> turtles made from pumpkins. <laughs> Intricate work and now He's giving them a hot them water too. bath. Amazing. Chinese chefs, man, I tell you, they can carve big time. Yeah, you're right. Using vegetables, also needing flowers the whole bit and mm. that should find favor with the chairman too so oh, they've started carving something too oh yeah you see? Okay. Uh, I see. Okay. okay yeah it's uh, probably the emblem of, of the bourbon dynasty okay. uh, Lily. Yeah. and oh. here is Ishinabe the one doing the work yeah yeah that's clearly the bourbon um, uh, emblem yeah, there's and no doubt. Oh. Right. Carving, being Fukuzan. done on a watermelon. Go. Yeah. Let me run through what Iron Chef Chan is going on the all Chinese side. In his walk, he has red chili, scallions, ginger, star anise, macadamia nuts, three different colored bell peppers, soft shell turtle Ooh. meats, cornstarch, <laughs> eggs, <laughs> vinegar, chunyun hot sauce, tochi beans, and sugar. See, wow. that's what I'm talking yeah, about. Chin right is too. just a genius. And Fukuzan? Yes. Uh, moving on to Wakia's walk. It contains scallions, garlic, soft shell turtle meat, Chinese rice wine, soy sauce, water, and sugar. Okay, Ooh. double barrel walk action in the bullpen. Garlic. They are really walking there. <laughs> oh boy, the, the dish he's making is a uh, type of uh, gong bao. G gong bao? Yeah. In the old days in China, there was a man by that name, a famous hey, bureaucrat. check it out. So it's a person's name, okay. Yeah, yeah, a person's name. Right oh, into the turtle. Wow, oh, nice. nice. This looks so oh, good. It's so cute. Yeah, it's the pumpkin <laughs> turtle. Stir fried on turtle. Yeah, sweet and oh, sour. Red chili oh, would be good right. with this. Yeah, with the red chili, sweet and sour. Looks hot, fan, kind of refreshing. Oh, oh man. Fukusan, go ahead. I was able to corner Ishinabe-san while he was carving the watermelons and asked him whether they would make it on time doing such intricate work just for the presentation and he replied hmm I don't know we may not make it what <laughs> he do you isn't think? joking <laughs> he's pretty serious well that's Ishinabe for you always pulling your leg tongue in cheek looks like one emblem is done there the other still left but they've got plenty of time to get that finished 
decorative, commemorative approaches on both sides today. 90 minutes to work with in this special match celebrating the 2000th dish in Kitchen Stadium. The theme ingredients, pork, soft shell turtles and bananas, the chairman's favorite, getting the full treatment from these dream teams today. If memory serves me right, this special battle is 30 minutes longer than usual. So, unfortunately, that means you'll have to wait until the next show to see the results. <laughs> Perfect, man. Well, we had 30 extra minutes, you know. You know, I usually don't go for these. <laughs> you ate them all. Huh? Look at them. Yeah, they're gone. The all French team. I'm getting too old for this. And their classic artistic cuisine. We sure made history. And the all Chinese team. I'm very proud of my work. Coming up with a grand dish. The aroma and color of China was the theme. You shall once again see a new page in Iron Chef history. I had so much fun and yet such a tough time voting. <laughs> Yeah.